All right, guys. So I just got done playing. Um, what was the game? Adam Lost Memories, and I received a free CD key from, um, or a free Steam key from Adam Doobie. I don't know if you say how you say his name. It's either Adam Doobie or it's D U B D U B I. So you can figure out how to pronounce it because I butcher like every name. And uh, I'm just making this little intro video because I couldn't beat the full game because unfortunately I ran into a few glitches and then my continue files stopped loading. But I played the game for about five hours and it was actually a super good horror game. The graphics were amazing. Um, the story had me pretty enthralled. It's a lot, it reminds me a lot of like Amnesia where you have to do a lot of puzzles, you have to find items and you have to figure out where the items go. Um, I think I was really close to the end, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna make like a compilation of my favorite scenes in no particular order. Um, I'm just letting you guys know to go check out this game if you like horror games. Um, it's supposed to release today. And uh, yeah, I played it for a solid five hours and I just, if I, if I hadn't played it for so long, I would probably like just restart even if it like did glitch because I did enjoy the game. But I played it for like five hours straight and I just, at the moment, I might go back to it later. Um, there's a few glitches though. Um, most of the times you can close the games and just reopen it, which fixes it. But there's a few, uh, that last one where I couldn't load in anymore, that just, that was the game seller for me to play, try to beat it. And I was so close to the end too, I believe. I was at the part where you have to go underwater and I already did that part and you have to turn on the power and all that stuff. So I was, I was uh, so far in that game. But yeah, no further ado, here's the compilation of my favorite scenes. There are some parts in this game that scared the little crap out of me. It scared me so bad, but yeah. Bye. Well, not bye, but to the video. All right, guys, welcome back to uh, another full walkthrough of a game. Today we have Adam's Lost Memories, which was, I actually got a stream key for this. The creator, Adam Doobie, I hope I said his name right, Adam Doobie or Adam Dubby, actually sent me the stream key in the email, so I'm super excited to play it. And uh, the game, to give you a little bit of a breakdown of it, um, Adam made it apparently three years ago started working on it because a psycho uh, psychologist he had some traumatic stuff happen in his childhood and uh, the psychologist told him a good way to um, relieve himself of the trauma would be to like actually express himself so he created this game and I'm actually super excited it's supposed to be like a psychological horror that's actually based on some real life events so I'm super ecstatic I'm hoping it's really creepy so what what this might be so I think it's supposed to be a butterfly it's like that Rorschach kind of thing I think a butterfly all right let me turn up the volume a little bit I noticed my last video was kind of quiet so it might be a little bit too loud and I apologize if it is Okay, let's get into this. I'm ready to be scared. I gotta go run after this too. I'm gonna be running in the dark. <laughs> All right, let's go. Loading. But the uh, little sneak peek I saw in my email, it looks really nice. Like the graphics look beautiful. Opening title. My name is Adam. I created this game because I wanted to show people what it feels like to a child who is growing up in a family that's falling apart. This is my story. Yeah, I can move. A long tunnel. Alright. So we're trying to get to the light, I believe, I hope. Make sure there's nothing beyond me trying there to use a book. Oh, look at this navigation. My only thing I had as a child. Those lines were the only escape from the pain. From the cold terror I had to survive every day. Uh -oh. From the objection. From the disturbing reality. How was that thing? Ah dang, Slenderman looking thing. Oh, something laughing at me? Everything's getting blurry. 
There this was a place. a place. Oh, he read it for me. Thank you. Oh, I'm playing again. This is really freaking cool. That's cool. Look around a little bit. It, this game's really pretty. Should I go to the house or should I go in the hole? I don't know. There I can hide. Hide after they mistreated me for nothing. So I guess he hid it in the sewer after his parents beat him for nothing. Is that him? Uh, don't scream at me. Bunny? A cute bunny rabbit. What does this look like it's from? This bunny rabbit looks like it's from, uh, God's basement. It really does. One, maintenance, the backup source is out too. When the crew is going to investigate the issue, please tell them to handle the equipment with care and follow the ventilation lines on the ground with a light source. Oh, I already tried to do that. I guess not. Is that all it's got for me down here? For real. Oh wait, there's a way this way. I have the cam- oh god, I gotta go this way with the camera only? This is bull. Shit. Use my language. I don't like this. <laughs> this just seems like a horrible idea. What the fuck was that? That scared the loop. Oh, hell. I don't like this. Heart attack. Heart attack. That was probably one of the creepiest things. Oh, they're here. Oh, hell. Don't fuck with me. Oh, I don't like this. Ah, those things are scary as fuck. The noises they were making everything was freaking terrifying. I am so... I did not like that. That was a good scare. I didn't know. Oh, oh, oh. Hair standing up on the back of my neck. Lord almighty. This game has been pretty freaking phenomenal. I know I haven't been talking much, but that's because I've been trying to think. And I get really quiet when I'm thinking. Unless I'm talking to myself to try to figure it out, but... Yeah, I haven't had much to say because this is, it is a really good game and the story's pretty neat. Graphics are amazing. Something's giggling down here. Oh, hell. Well, might as well start with this sucker. Tweezers. Thank you. Blue, purple. We didn't have purple on here, did we? One more time. Red, yellow, green, blue. That's what I said, right? When I went up there the first time? Yeah, let's go back up there. Oh, what the fuck is that? Did y'all see that big hand? There's a big hand coming out that damn... Ooh. That thing was fucking huge. I'm glad we... Oh, I'm glad we were leaving. Alright, what is this? Oh, there's a nice chair there. Use it. Won't let me. Oh, hell. Oh, memories. We finally found memories. Okay, you gotta do it in a certain order. One. Two. Don't be hissing at me, you fuck. Okay. Three. 
One, two, three. Nice. Houses are creepy as hell. Four. Nice. Wow. These are all different houses, I think. Are these all the places he's lived in his life? You don't stop hissing at me, dude. I'm getting so tired of your crap. Alright, we did whatever we were supposed to do here. We pulled all the camera pictures. You don't mess with me. You jack a little. Alright, well I'm damn lost. What's new? Can we use our camera underwater? What the fuck is that? Thing is breathing. Is it killing me? Alright. Whatever. Here to be honest. Who the fuck are you? That is fucking terrifying. What the hell? Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, if you could please like and subscribe. Um, and I do want to thank the creator Adam again because I do appreciate the stream keen. I wish I could have finished the full game. But I, no, I don't. Maybe later I might be willing to restart but I, I got too far. <laughs> it took me so long because I kept getting stuck. It was a really fun game. I did enjoy it. But yeah, these are just some of my favorite scenes from the game that I had while I was playing it. But overall, it was a really good game. The graphics were phenomenal, and you did a really good job. But yeah. There's just a few glitches. Like um, sometimes when you're entering a room, you'll get like a fatal error. Or um, what happened it, certain places, like I'd get stuck by an invisible wall, and I'd have to like close the game, reload it. So I can go through where the invisible wall was. And that worked for the most part until it stopped letting me load. <laughs> and then that just, that was a deal breaker. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I think I already said that part. Bye! <laughs>